This week I got a question from Barry Manaloa on my YouTube channel about how to uh, punch a hole through a cylindrical face and then unwrap that surface so that you could uh, trace that hole feature back on the face of the part. And I told him it really wasn't possible and it's kind of possible and I decided I'm going to show how that workflow works. One thing you will need for this workflow is access to the Fusion Sheet Metal environment. It's currently in preview. The only way to get it is to go to forums.autodesk.com and go to the preview functionality uh, tab and request access to it for now. Or you'll have to wait till, I think they said sometime in July is when it's going to probably come out. So I'm going to show you a workflow how you can, how you can replicate this using Sheet Metal. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sketch a cylinder. So I'm going to do arc center point arc, put it on this plane, and I'm going to roughly draw out my cylinder. We're going to end up with a six inch diameter cylinder. Uh, so we've got some little bit of construction geometry to create. We'll make these two points symmetric. I'll add a little dimension here. So the thing with this is we're going to use the sheet metal environment and the sheet metal environment has to be unfolded for this to work out. And that's why I have to leave this little gap there. So I had to do a dimension, D for dimension, right click, say I want diameter and choose that diameter to be six inches. I'll stop the sketch and uh, I'll now switch the sheet metal environment and I'll create a flange. When I select this flange and give it some distance, we'll look at this from the top view and you can see the flange is currently extending outside of the circle. I want it to be inside. So I'm going to choose other side here and now it uh, extrudes it inside to create the flange. And we're going to do a symmetric flange of say, oh, we'll do six inches overall. So we'll go three inches total and go ahead and click OK. And there is a folded cylinder. So I'm going to show you the first way. We're going to do this and show you why just creating a hole and doing this isn't going to work. So let's just continue with this workflow and go ahead and do that. So I'm going to sketch a circle, center point diameter. I'm going to put it on this plane, put it right at the origin. We'll make this circle five inches in diameter. We'll make a great big circle. Go ahead and hit enter to accept the location. Stop the sketch. I'm going to say E for extrude. Click on the cylinder. Pull it through. Click OK. And now there is my, there's my hole in that cylindrical face. When I go to modify and create a flat pattern, I select that inside face as my flattened pattern and I click on this. You'll see that uh, what I want is I want a straight square edge going through here. The way that this was cut, when it's unfolded, we get more of an ellipse shape, and you can see I have this edge um, that's being generated. So that is kind of undesirable. So that's that's the, the wrong way to, to go about doing it. However, there's a not too bad workaround for doing something like this. So I'm just going to switch over to this other part that I've already started. I did the same thing. I created that same cylinder. So what I'm going to do now is create that same extrusion. So I'm going to do circle, center point diameter, choose the plane drag my circle out. I believe I used five inches before. We'll stop the sketch. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the patch environment instead. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to extrude as a surface. So I'm going to choose uh, create and extrude and choose my circle. And I'm going to drag this out and just go ahead and click OK. So it doesn't really matter how long this is just so it intersects that face. From the modify menu, I'm going to split the face. So I want to split that face with that surface extrusion that I just created being my splitting tool and click OK. And now I'll shut that off. Go to my body's folder, turn that off. I'm just going to right click and say press pull. Click on that surface and just drag it out and that will make a cut. Click OK. And now I have uh, that same circle um, with one small difference. When I turn this on, you can see when I extrude that, um, it fits exactly on the inside of that of that cylinder hole that I just cut. If I were to modify, uh, create a thicken, just to turn this into 3D space so I can use the analysis tools. Now if I do inspect and interference and choose my two components, and tell it to compute, you'll see no interference is detected. The other way you could do this, let's just turn this body off now. Um, the other thing we could do is, is I could sketch another circle, center point diameter. This time I'll put it on this face. 
Um, I'm gonna sketch a circle center point diameter right here. Let's just make this three inches so we don't get an interference problem. Stop the sketch. Create, extrude. Again, I'll just take this and drag it through my part. Click OK. Now let's split the outside surface. So from the modify, split face. Choose this as my face I want to split. The, the surface as my splitting tool. Click OK. I can turn this body off now. Right click, press pull. This time I'll do it from the outside face in. Click OK to create my, my circle. I'm going to turn this extrusion back on. And from the crate, I'm going to thicken this again. I'll thicken it inward. And we'll do uh, an inspect and an interference this time. I want to choose this body and this body and tell it to compute. And this time, you'll see that we have an interference, uh, a little bit of interference on the edge right there. So if we were actually going to want to start try to stick a pipe or something through this hole, it's not going to work out. So we'll go ahead and click OK to accept that. I'll turn this body off and we'll switch back to the sheet metal view and let's look at the difference. So if I choose modify and say create a flat pattern, choose my inside face again, when I click OK, notice how both circles are still kind of elliptical, but the edges are square. So when we draw this circle out and cut it and wrap it around the cylinder, um, we're going we're going to get an edge that's the exact size we need so that when we uh, put our pipe or whatever through there that it's going to fit through it. So I hope that help um, helped. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this or on this topic, uh, hopefully this will get easier in the future as they make sheet metal more mature and we get a uh, normal cut option so we don't have to do so much of this uh, uh, splitting bodies and faces and all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, let me know and we'll talk to you guys later.